Welcome back. Let's dive into John chapter 2. As we embark on this journey, find a quiet space, relax, and prepare your heart to receive the teachings and miracles found in these verses. Feel the peace of the moment and let the gentle whispers of the word bring comfort and insight. six water pots of stone after the manner of the purifying of the Jews containing two or three firkins apiece. Jesus saith unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he saith unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine, and when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou <laughs> hast kept the good wine until now. Sold doves. 
take these things hence. Make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The seal of thine house hath eaten me up. and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body, when therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. When he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name when they saw the miracles which he did. But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. As we conclude our journey through John chapter 2, may the stories of miracles and teachings resonate within you. Reflect on the transformation of water into wine, the passion of Jesus for his Father's house, and the profound knowledge he had of the human heart. Thank you for joining me in this peaceful exploration of Scripture. May these verses inspire and guide you in